Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Unmanned aircraft, often referred to as drones, represent one of the most important advancements in military history. In fact, the use of drones by global military organizations for patrol, attack, and defense purposes has evolved significantly over the past three decades. This has largely been due to the development of technologies such as GPS, which facilitated the development of the United States' now famous Predator drone, followed by the MQ-9 Reaper. As they are completely unmanned aerial vehicles, launching and landing drones has remained a primary concern of many engineers and operators, often leading to very innovative results. One of the companies at the forefront of drone development is Vanilla Unmanned. Rather than focus specifically on military or non-military applications, Vanilla and its parent company Platform Aerospace are interested in dramatically expanding the endurance of their drone aircraft. One of the ways they've done this is by removing any and all unnecessary components. This is why they've had to develop a rather low-tech launch system, wherein the drone rides on the back of a truck. Upon reaching the proper speed, the drone becomes airborne. Thanks to this design, the company's flagship model has been able to remain airborne for over eight days without refueling. The primary issue with traditional takeoff and landing drones is that they still require runway space or roads in order to function. This has led to some European drone designers to create high mobility drone launchers that can be deployed virtually anywhere on the battlefield. The launchers essentially slingshot small aerial drones up to takeoff speed in less than a second, allowing them to take flight instantly. The Blackjack weighs just 134 pounds and can stay aloft for more than 15 hours at a time, despite only boasting an 8 horsepower engine. Its portability makes it a valuable surveillance tool for small teams operating in the field, as well as military boats that lack a traditional flight deck. An even earlier version of the Blackjack was the Boeing in situ Scan Eagle, which used the same launch system but was specifically intended for use at sea. It boasted a surveillance ceiling of nearly 20,000 feet and could stay aloft for more than 20 hours, using powerful day, night, and thermal imaging cameras to provide intel to the launch boat below. Over the years, drones have gotten even smaller and more portable. In some cases, like that of the Black Hornet, they can literally fit in a soldier's pocket. While the evolution of unmanned drones has been positive in terms of offensive capabilities, it also means that militaries worldwide need to improve their defenses against drones that might be used by the enemy. This has led to the development of all manner of anti-drone weaponry.
These weapons are specifically designed to neutralize or mitigate the threats posed by hostile or unauthorized drones. They range from radar systems and acoustic sensors designed to track drones to electronic warfare systems, cannons, and lasers designed to disable or destroy them. Many of these weapons fall under the definition of LAD, or Lightweight Anti-Aircraft Defense. The FIM-92 Stinger has played a crucial role in troop defense since the early 1980s. As a man-portable air defense system, it uses a surface-to-air missile to target and destroy enemy aircraft, particularly helicopters, low-flying planes, and drones. The Stinger is a short-range infrared homing missile that can be launched from various platforms, including shoulder-fired launchers, vehicles, and aircraft. During operation, it uses a passive infrared seeker to track the heat signature of its target. Its simple point-and-shoot operation and effective range of more than 4,800 meters provide infantry units with a potent tool against enemy aircraft. The missile itself is around 5 feet long and travels toward its target at speeds of around Mach 2.5. Ground troops often undergo extensive training with the Stinger missile system before being allowed to use it in the field. This is typically done on beaches to minimize the potential damage of any misdirected rocket fire. Recent years have seen dramatic advances in directed energy weapons, like lasers. A good example of this is the Compact Laser Weapon System, or CLWS, which was specifically designed to be used against unmanned aerial systems. Essentially, it employs a high-energy laser to disable or destroy drones on contact. It works by focusing the powerful, concentrated laser beam on a target. damaging the drone structure or critical systems and leading to its disablement or destruction. Compared to traditional projectile-based defense systems like the Stinger missile, the CLWS offers several advantages. For instance, they have virtually unlimited ammunition, offer precision targeting with minimal collateral damage, and can engage targets at the speed of light. Drones, especially smaller ones, can be challenging targets for conventional weapons due to their size, speed, and maneuverability. The precision and rapid engagement capability of the CLWS make it an effective tool for countering drone threats. While the CLWS is highly portable, it lacks the shoulder firing capabilities of the Stinger. That's why the United States and other militaries recently began utilizing the Drone Defender. A handheld anti-drone device designed to disrupt the operation of unmanned aerial vehicles. The Drone Defender typically uses radio frequency jamming to disrupt the communication between a drone and its controller. This can cause the drone to either return to its point of origin, land, or hover in place, depending on its programming and the type of jamming used. The Defender is much more compact than other such systems, often resembling a rifle or a large gun. The system is also lightweight, user-friendly, and perfect for quickly responding to drone threats.
In fact, the U.S. recently founded the Counter Small Unmanned Aerial Systems program to address the growing threat posed by small unmanned aerial systems. CSUAS focuses on developing and deploying various technologies and strategies to detect, track, identify and neutralize small drones that may threaten military personnel, facilities and operations. The threat posed by drones is particularly difficult to counter, given the fast-moving nature of the technology. This means that defense contractors need to work just as quickly to counter new initiatives, including those they are working on. One of the more recent developments is the Light Marine Air Defense Integrated System. The LMATIS, as it's known, is a mobile air defense system designed to detect, track, identify, and defeat drones. This system is particularly focused on countering the increasing use of small, commercially available drones, which can pose threats to military units even when their use is innocuous. The system typically consists of two vehicles. One vehicle is equipped with radar and other sensors for detection and tracking. The second vehicle is equipped with electronic warfare systems to jam the communication and control signals of the target drone, effectively neutralizing it. As its name suggests, El Matis is a light system compared to larger, more traditional air defense systems. This portability allows it to be quickly deployed and repositioned as needed, making it suitable for operations with highly mobile units. An even more recent development in the world of drone defense is the M. Shorad. Maneuver Short Range Air Defense Striker. The prototype, first released in 2022, represents a significant enhancement in the capability of ground forces to counter various aerial threats. The system can be mounted on top of a Striker A1 vehicle, which offers a combination of speed, agility and protection. Once in place, it can use a range of weapons designed to counter different aerial threats, including drones, helicopters and low-flying aircraft. Typically, the armament includes a combination of machine guns, missiles and possibly a directed energy weapon. An integral part of the M. Shorad system is its advanced sensor and targeting capabilities. It typically includes radar and electro-optical sensors that can simultaneously detect and track multiple targets. The M. Shorad is just one example of military engineers doing whatever they can to equip their soldiers with the latest and greatest offensive and defensive equipment. Ultimately, whether the threat is a drone or a manned aircraft, it's all about finishing the mission. And bringing home as many soldiers as possible. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.